Hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video to kind of show you what our lives are about with these little babies that we're so proud of. Um, we have seven puppies in this litter and six are not yet spoken for. They're just getting cute and really cuddly. Um, just so you know a little bit about us. Um, my husband and I were long, long, long haul truck drivers and uh, we did that for about 10 years and Bella and Bubba lived in the truck with us because we were on the road a month at a time and they did very well in that environment. It was uh, obviously a small area. So, um, but they got out for lots of walks and that kind of thing. So I'm, my point is with that, they do very well in a small apartment that people would have in Vancouver or those, those kind of places. Um, but ultimately, a, a nice yard would be awesome for them. We're able to provide that up here for them. We have four dogs in our home, Bella and Bubba, who are the parents of these pups. And we have Uncle Blue, who is our blue healer. And if you know anything about blue healers, they're herding dogs. Oh, did you hear that little bark? Oh, so cute. Um, they're herding dogs. So um, when I have to swamp out their kennel and get rid of their bedding and change it out, and I do that probably about four times a day, um, they, <laughs> that's so funny. He, he kind of helps them stay in line for me. And he's famous for dropping his toys into the kennel and he uh, likes to leave them treats and that kind of thing. So he is the world's best uncle. So they are socialized with bigger dogs as well as smaller dogs. Speaking of smaller dogs, we have um, one of their siblings. Um, Booger is a puppy from a past litter and we've kept her and we love her so much. She's um, She's great. She's beautiful. Um, so yeah, she's still a puppy, but she's she's crazy and likes to have fun. But yet she's finally house trained and all that stuff. So that's been great. Um, you can expect, if you were to take one of our guys, you can expect one or two videos a day um, of this kind of thing where I sit and talk about everything from the puppies and what I know about them and their parents and what they did that day to what our own children are doing at the time and that kind of thing. So I just kind of ramble and probably repeat myself a ton because as new puppies come into, as new puppy owners come into the, into the mix, then I will name them, name the puppies, whatever name you guys choose for them and start using that name. Um, yeah, so that's, I know I'd sound, I should have made a list of all the points I wanted to hit, but that being one of them, I have, I'm retired now, obviously, or I wouldn't be able to have the luxury of having babies in our home like this. Um, so I'm available to take phone calls if you have quick inquiries or text messages. I go to bed ridiculously early as no human should, I've been told. But um, yeah, my husband and I are in bed very early in the evening, between seven and eight generally. And uh, that's because we're up at dawn, not even dawn. We're, I'm usually up at the latest by four o'clock, usually just before four. So that's when my day starts. So if you contact me anytime during the day, I'm happy to get back to you right away. And if not, I will text you back or call you back as soon as I get the message. Um, I won't be calling you at four o'clock in the morning, but I may answer a text then. So anyway, our plan is to take these puppies down to the coast on the 24th. They are having their vet check on the 23rd that is the day they will actually hit their eight week birthday. So they're eight weeks old on the 23rd and we'll be taking them into the vet. They'll get their microchips, they'll get their full check, they'll be dewormed and they'll have their first shots and uh, all of that stuff. And then the next day, 
is the 24th, Christmas Eve. We'll be taking the pups to the coast. And that's when you guys will get your babies. I tried to talk my husband into wearing a Santa suit. <laughs> he wouldn't bite on it, unfortunately, because I thought that would have been really cute. Um, as far as references, I am in touch with the first litter, there is eight puppies. Second litter, there is seven puppies. And I am in touch with each and every person that has ever gotten a puppy from us. Um, they send me regular updates and pictures and I inquire once in a while. They are under no obligation to keep us updated, of course. But, um, but they do. They do. It's, if you hear me talking for a month every day <laughs> for however long at a time, then you start to develop relationships and they kind of, I kind of feel like I know them and I guess they feel like they know me a bit too. So uh, yes, I'm able to pass on as many references as you need. I'm happy to do that and they're happy to comply and oblige me with that, which is an awesome thing. But I think that's, oh, did you see that little hop? Look at all their tails going just crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I'll, maybe I'll just zoom in a little bit. These are tiny guys. Their mum weighs about, like generally, she's a little heavier now because uh, of course of giving birth. And from the time that she we know that she is pregnant. I start feeding her salmon and moose meat. She goes on a, well, along with the puppy food, the high cal puppy food that we have her on. But um, we want to do all that we can to keep her as in best health as possible. Um, we don't have to do that. It's just something extra that we do for her because she deserves it. So, and these guys, they're still just only on mother's milk, but soon they'll be getting their teeth and they will be on uh, puppy food as well as mother's milk. So we'll start supplementing after their teeth come in. So, um, I don't know if I've hit everything that I wanted to tell you or not. Other than that, like I said, I'm available pretty much all day, every day. If anybody needs to contact me, I'm happy to answer questions. So, I think that's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.